Hello everyone. So you wanna impress someone in your life with a delicious recipe. Well, I've got just the thing. Chicken and waffles is a perfect combination of sweet and savory, the different textures, the crispy chicken, the soft waffle. And by the way, they're not just any waffles. They are gonna be made with a Mickey Mouse iron. That's right, they're Mickey Mouse chicken and waffles. My version of this has a little twist. We're adding a raspberry glaze to the chicken with a little heat to it as well. So I think this is gonna be incredible, guys. Like, I'm really excited to show you. Just know that I haven't done this before, so this is less of a how-to video and more of a let's see what happens type thing. So with that in mind, let's get started. First things first, we're going to prepare our buttermilk bath for the chicken, which will be in here. So we need one cup of buttermilk. Right, so I'm gonna season this chicken with some garlic salt and pepper, of course. You wanna do both sides. Some people just season one side, but you gotta do both. Perfectly seasoned chicken. Okay, buttermilk goes in. Also, adding a little Frank's Red Hot to the buttermilk. Now we're gonna add our delicious chicken cutlets. I seasoned the chicken, placed it in this delicious bath. It's gonna sit in the fridge for at least two hours. All right, success. Um, so next step, um, I'll have to double check what the next step is, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and make the waffle batter. So I've got my mise en place, everything in its place right here. Hello. I hope we have a whisk. Found it. Should be all smooth and consistent throughout. Okay, so that's our wet batter. We're gonna put that aside. So the recipe says to sift together the flour, sugar, baking powder, and baking soda. I'm just gonna combine all those things and uh, put it through, put it through that. Here's some salt. Teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, I don't know if this is kosher or not, but I don't think it makes that big of a difference. Okay, so I have to sift all this stuff into this bowl. Seems a little unnecessary, but I'm working with it. There's a little bit that's not sifting, so who's gonna know? Dry ingredients and the wet, so we're gonna mix them both. So we have the waffle batter all made from scratch. So I'm just gonna put some foil over this, put it in the fridge. This will be ready to go later. I'm feeling really good about this so far. Like, I know we haven't made it that far in, but the batter looks great. It's smooth and consistent. Doesn't really smell like much of anything, but uh, you know what? I'm confident that this is gonna work out. So cheers. Okay, on to the raspberry sauce. We're just gonna blend this up with some uh, water. Okay, so this has to go through a strainer so all the seeds don't get in it. Well, my raspberry sauce is way too thick for the strainer, so... All right, well, forget about straining it. Uh, I don't mind having seeds, and neither does Kelly, so... All right, guys, this is the point in the recipe where you can pour a drink. Kelly just walked in, and uh, I had just made the raspberry sauce, which <laughs> we're having seeds in our raspberry sauce. Not a big deal. Yeah. Let's recap. We got the chicken cutlets are ready to come out of the fridge, actually. Other than that, we have the waffle mix all made, the raspberry sauce all made. So all that's left is cooking the chicken. Yeah. And then, adding... and then the waffles. Yeah, well, oh my god, the waffles. Oh, and we have a Mickey waffle iron that we're oh, gonna I use. I'm <laughs> so excited. Um, I basically love it when Dave cooks in general because I don't, so mm. that's all it takes. You bake. 
I bake. I do the savory, you do the sweet. Yeah. This is a unique one because it's savory and sweet in the same. So like, it was funny for me to do the baking, uh, doing the waffle mix because I was using all her equipment. I know, and when he said he was doing waffle, I was like, oh yeah? Like, what's in it? It's legit. It's from... Uh, from the Food Network? It's Gordon Ramsay's waffle mix. Oh, recipe. okay. No, Never it's mind. Not. It's not. Oh. He, I don't think he has a waffle he recipe. He probably does. Gordon Maybe. Ramsay. Do you have a waffle recipe you can lend us? Leave us a comment, Gordon, um, <laughs> with your recipe. After our drink break, I'm going to cook the chicken. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I have Kelly as my camera person now, so come with me. The chicken has been thoroughly bathing in this beautiful buttermilk bath. We're gonna put the chicken, we're gonna bread it into this uh, seasoning and breadcrumbs. So then after it's all breaded, we're gonna place it on the baking sheet. I've already got my oven preheated. You it's could fine. fry the chicken in oil if you wanted to, but I'm trying to be a little healthier and bake it, so. I'm just gonna lay down some parchment paper, and that's too much. But... <laughs> All right, so where's the canola? Just noting your socks. Oh, <laughs> you gotta brush this um, parchment paper with some canola oil so the chicken doesn't stick. We got our chicken. We have our breading. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that. I'm just gonna get down and dirty using my hands. Sure to wash your hands, kids. You're dealing with the raw chicken here. We're ready to put this chicken in the oven. I'm gonna put it in there for eight minutes and then flip it over and then for another eight minutes. I like your oven mitt. <laughs> <laughs> when I flip that over, I'm gonna start preheating this Mickey Mouse waffle iron and we'll start making our waffles. Chicken is ready, it looks nice, crispy, very pleased with it. Now is the fun part. We are finally at the waffle portion of the recipe. I'm very excited about this, the chicken's ready, so we're gonna go ahead and make the waffles. that amount should fill up the Mickey. We'll let it do its thing and once it's done we're gonna do a little powdered sugar action on that. Wow. <laughs> oh, looks great. Oh my god. Alright, number two. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I think the waffle batter was the biggest um, unknown for me, but it looks really good. And the chicken turned out great. The raspberry sauce I'm happy with. I am very excited to try it. Kelly and I are gonna eat it right now and let you know what we think. So hopefully it tastes as good as it looks.
making this? You're welcome. Chicken and waffles. I <laughs> thought you would like this. Thank you. Some All right. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe how good this waffle batter turned out. I can't believe how good this raspberry sauce came out. Oh, this is the best bite. You gotta get like a bite of the chicken and then the waffle and the same fork. Mm. And then some of that raspberry sauce and syrup. Like this raspberry sauce is like a little bit spicy. And then with the chicken, the savory and the sweet of the waffle, it's like seriously every combination. Oh my god. This is so good. This is not healthy, but this mm -hmm. is so good. It's homemade, made with love. I taste the love. I want to eat another one. Me too. Thank you, Vicky and Bob, if you're watching this for the waffle iron. Shout out to Vicky and Bob for <laughs> providing us this Mickey Mouse waffle maker. It is incredible. It does an amazing job. Yep. They're big fans of, of the channel, and we just want to thank you guys very much. She's getting seconds, people. She likes it. <laughs> Don't wow. judge me. No, I'm going to get seconds too. Before I do that, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Very glad this turned out so well. It's delicious. Definitely try it. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to leave the recipe in the description so you guys can try it. But um, I highly recommend it. This is insanely good. I want this every day. I can't believe that you pulled this off. Me too. Yeah, I had a really good time. I'm glad you guys watched. Till next time. Take it easy, guys. Bye.